Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Linux gaming has become some kind of a real thing in the latest years and months. And this is all thanks to Valve, Proton, Wine and DXVK, the various libraries that allow Windows game to run almost natively on Linux. There's still a performance gap though between Linux performance and Windows performance when running these games through Proton. Most of the time Windows will perform better. But fortunately there is a tool that will allow us to close that performance gap and increase performance for gaming on Linux. It's called Game Mode. Let's take a look right after this. This video is sponsored by Linode. Founded in 2003, Linode is the largest independent cloud service provider built on open source. If it runs on Linux, it runs on Linode. Multiple distros are available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and of course Arch. The multiple server configurations make any app or service flexible and scalable. You host a website, set up your own personal VPN, create a Nextcloud instance, host a game server, and more. Linode offers 24-7 support any day of the year, by phone or support ticket, regardless of your plan size. The simple pricing with monthly caps ensures that there is no hidden fees and a generous monthly transfer is built in, which means there is no large bill surprises like you get from AWS or Azure. Sign up today at linode.com slash Linux experiments to get your $100 in Linux server credits. The link is in the description. Oh, and before I forget, in addition to having great written documentation, Linode also just started their own YouTube channel where you can check out video tutorials and guides, information on Linux cloud computing, and guest appearances from various experts. Check them out at youtube.com slash Linode. Okay, so what is game mode? Well, Game Mode is a little program developed by Feral Interactive. You might know this company from their porting efforts with the Tomb Raider games on Linux, the latest Total War games as well, Dirt 4, Rally, stuff like that. Game Mode is a little demon that runs in the background and that can tweak and optimize performance on the fly to make your game a higher priority for your system. So it can optimize CPU priority, input and output priority for better write and uh, read speeds on your disk, but it can also optimize the GPU performance profile on AMD and Nvidia cards. And it can even go all the way to overclocking your GPU if that's available and inhibiting screen savers so you don't get stopped in the middle of your game. Now game mode has been available for a while. It's not a new project by any means, but not many distributions ship game mode by default and not many games take advantage of it right out of the box. And that's a shame because the end result of game mode is actually giving you a 5 to 10% performance boost in almost every game I've tested. So let's see about those tests. Well, first, the improvements you'll get will vary from game to game, from computer to computer. The most taxing a game is, the more chance you have that game mode will make a good impact. If the game already runs like butter on your system, game mode will not have much of an impact. That's normal. I conducted all my tests on my Ryzen 5 desktop. It's using a Ryzen 5 2600 processor with an NVIDIA RTX 2060 uh, with the latest NVIDIA drivers available. It's on elementary OS 6 Odin, the early access, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and all the games are running off an NVMe SSD. I kept the resolution and the graphics settings for each game the same between the test with game mode disabled and game mode enabled. And all the while I recorded using OBS with NVENC at the exact same settings. So the test should have coherent results. Okay, on Resident Evil 2, which is a game running with Proton, at 1440p, the improvement is noticeable everywhere where you're not in a cutscene, which seem locked to 30 FPS for some reason. Without game mode on, in the first section of the game playing as Leon, I get under 60 FPS, with kinda big frame drops. The frame rate wasn't that smooth and sometimes dipped below 30 in some cutscenes rendered in the game engine. With game mode turned on, I got a way more stable 60 FPS with spikes up to 70. The cutscenes still performed pretty badly but were more stable and the game recovered quicker after that. I also got less frame drops or at least less intensive ones. In the end, it's about a 5 to 8% improvement in terms of frame rate. On Space Hulk Deathwing at 1440p max settings, without game mode I got less than 60 FPS when being quite idle in the starting teleport room, and the FPS dropped in the low 40s when actually exploring the map and fighting those filthy Xenos. Frame drops also occurred wildly, sometimes dipping below 30 FPS. With game mode on on Space Hulk Deathwing, I got a more stable 60 FPS in the starting room and around 40 to 60 when exploring and fighting. 
Not a huge improvement in this specific game, but there's still some noticeable smoothness, and the game rarely dropped below 40 compared to game mode off. In this case, I'd say it's also a 5-8% improvement with the average frame rate. On Dawn of War 3, at 1440p on high settings, running the integrated benchmark, I got a minimum of 18 FPS, a max of 36, and an average of 27 FPS. This game tends to really hurt your computer for some reason, and without game mode it shows its limits. With game mode turned on, at the same settings, the benchmark got a lowest frame rate of around 22, a max of 41, and an average at almost 30 FPS. That is, once again, an almost 10% improvement over when game mode isn't active. And one last test for an older game, Dawn of War 2 Retribution, another very badly optimized game that runs weirdly terribly on even recent machines. Without game mode, I got a minimum frame rate of 19.5 FPS, a maximum of 66 and an average of 32.5. With game mode turned on, on the same benchmark, at the same settings, I got a minimum of 13.8 FPS, weirdly lower, but a maximum of 72.7 .7 and an average of 34.7. This amounts to a 6% improvement on average. Okay, I tried a bunch of other games and the improvements generally seem to be in the 6 to 8% range. So enough of the benchmarks. Now let's see how to use it and install it. Okay, so how do you get and install game mode? Well, it's pretty easy. Game mode isn't pre-installed on many distributions, but it's available in the repos of a lot of them. You can get it on Ubuntu, Fedora, Solus, Gentoo, Arch, Manjaro, Mageia. Basically every single big distro that you're going to use, you're going to find this in the repositories. If you're using an older Ubuntu-based version, like something based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, you're going to need to add a PPA. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if your distro doesn't seem to have game mode at all in its repositories, and if it doesn't accept PPAs like Ubuntu does, then you're going to have to compile game mode from source. It's a small program, it's not going to take too long. It's well explained in the GitHub page of the project. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now, once you have game mode installed, you actually need to make sure that your games are going to make use of it when they run. But that's another pretty easy step. On Steam, it is super simple. Whether the game is running natively or through Proton, all you have to do is right-click on the game's name in the library, select Properties, and in the small window that appears, you get a box named Launch Options. In this box, just add Game Mode Run, Percentage, Command, Percentage. And that's it, you just close the window and launch your game, and Game Mode will automatically be used to start the game through Steam, and the performance tweaks will be applied on the fly. Note that Feral is already baking game mode in a few of the games that they ported to Linux, so adding the game mode launch option there will not yield any results as the game is already using it. Those games are Dirt 4, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Total War 3 Kingdoms, Thrones of Britannia, and Total War Warhammer 2. Now, if you're a Lutris person, as you should be if you're a Linux gamer, because Lutris is an awesome program, Lutris makes using game mode even easier. All you have to do is right-click on your game in your Lutris window, select Configure, and on the last tab, System Options, make sure that the small toggle Enable Feral Game Mode is turned on. If it's turned on, your game is already using it. This toggle will only become available if Lutris detects a valid installation of game mode though, so make sure that you have installed it beforehand. Now, if you want to make sure that all the games that you're going to be running through Lutris make use of game mode, you can also go inside the Lutris Options using the little cogwheel icon, and in the system options, toggle on the enable feral game mode if it's not on already. Now, if you're not using Steam or Lutris, you're probably doing something wrong because Linux gaming really is better with those two tools, but you can always add game mode to a game that is not installed through these means or managed through these means. This is easy, you just need to edit the menu entry that the game added in your menu. For example, if you install SuperTux Cart and it's right there in your menu, you can just edit this menu entry with any program of your choice, and you just add game mode run in front of the command that the game is already using to run. For example, to run super tux cart, the command is just super tux cart. So you would make game mode run space super tux cart. You save that, and each time you run super tux cart through the menu, you're gonna play immediately with game mode turned on. I still recommend you manage all the games that you install through Steam, through GOG, through native installers, through Debian packages, whatever. Manage them all through Lutris. It makes it a lot easier to find them, to use them, to reinstall them, and to configure them. 
So it's going to avoid you messing up too much with your menu configuration. It's just easier that way. Now, if you're unsure if game mode is actually running on your session when you started your game, you can check it. Just launch your game and then open a terminal while the game is running and type game mode D space dash S. It means status. It's going to tell you if the game mode daemon is started or not. If it is, then your game is correctly using game mode. If it's not, then something must have been wrong at the installation level or when you wrote the command to start the game. So check those steps back again. And that's about it for game mode. It's a pretty amazing program for Linux gaming, but you could also expand its uses to programs that are really taxing on your CPU or GPU. For example, if you use Kden Live or DaVinci Resolve, there's nothing preventing you from trying to start them with game mode and see if you actually get a performance boost for rendering, for example. That might be an interesting topic to cover as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't hesitate to like or dislike if you didn't. You can also subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. And if you really want to help support the channel, you can join my amazing Patreon subscribers and YouTube members and get access to a weekly Patreon cast and the right to vote on the next topics I'll cover. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!